Hi, welcome to Marker Board Videos. This is the next video in our Math in Minutes series. Today we're going to talk about calculating midpoints. My name is Nancy Foote, and let's get started. So when you're calculating midpoints, all you're doing is you're trying to find out if you have a line segment, and you know this point and this point, well, what are the coordinates of the point that's exactly in the middle? If you think about it, trying to find the middle number is kind of like finding an average, and that's indeed what we do when we're trying to find midpoints. But let me show you an easy way to do it that's going to help you maybe organize your thinking a little bit so that you won't get confused with it. You'll be given something like this. It says a line segment has the endpoints F is 4, 0, and G is 10, 0. And they want you to find the coordinates of the midpoint. Well, you could actually draw that line out and take a ruler and figure out what the, where the midpoint is. But mathematically, it's much easier to do if you just take the first set of points, 4, 0, and underneath those, write the second set of points, 10, 0. And then draw a big line, like you're going to do a big addition problem, because that's kind of what you're going to do. 4 plus 10 is 14. 14 divided by 2 is 7. That means your x-coordinate is at 7. Now this one's easy because 0 plus 0 is 0 and 0 divided by 2 is 0. So the coordinates of your midpoint are 7 and 0. And ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't get any harder than that. Now sometimes it gets a little more confusing because if you're doing negative numbers, people tend to mess up negative numbers a little bit. So use your calculator if you need to. Let's do a few more problems. One end point is at 6, 1 and the other end point is at 0, 3. Where's the midpoint? Again, stack them up, 6, 1, and 0, 3. Draw your line, plus 6 plus 0 is 6, 6 divided by 2 is 3, 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 divided by 2 is 2, so your midpoint is at 3, 2. Let's do a couple more just to make sure you're good on it, but as I said, this is very easy to do, it's very quick. Once you stack them up, it becomes a much simpler problem. Let's try this one. 4, 10 is one endpoint, and negative 3, 12 is the other endpoint. So again, 4, 10, and underneath them write negative 3, 12. Great big line. 4 plus negative 3, they have different signs, so we're going to subtract. 4 minus 3 is 1. We're going to keep the sign of the bigger number. 4 is larger than 3, so our answer is going to be 1. 1 divided by 2 is 1 half, or 0 0.5. It doesn't have to be a whole number in order to be correct, by the way. 10 plus 12, 22. 22 divided by 2 is 11. So your second endpoint, your y, I'm sorry, your second uh, coordinate of your midpoint is 11. So your midpoint is at 1 half and 11. Let's do one more. Let's get one with some ugly numbers. Negative 64 and negative 86, those are 1, that's the coordinates of one endpoint. Negative 26 and negative 66, that's the other. So let's stack them up like we used to. Negative 64 and negative 86, negative 26 and negative 66. And we're going to add 64 plus negative 64 plus negative 26. So that's negative 90. Negative 90 divided by 2 is negative 45. That's your x coordinate. 86 and 66 is 12. Carry the 1. That's negative 152. Divided by 2, negative 76. So your coordinates of your midpoint are negative 45, negative 76. If you have any questions, please send me a message, and I'll answer you back right away. Thanks, and have a great day.